Hi, my name is Sofia Mendez Hernandez. I'm from Tijuana, Mexico. I'm a freshman in San Diego Mesa College, and my major is bioengineering. I went to Enlace, that is a scientific research program in 2022 at UCSD. We had some instructor told us that if we wanted to study in the United States, we needed to be resident and that for people that weren't born in the United States, it was impossible. They basically gave us a class where they told us all the opportunities they had, but for residents of the United States. So I'm a citizen, but since I'm a citizen, I can't go to a fourth year university because I don't have the same opportunities as a resident. So they made that clear and limited my options. So I started getting confused and I didn't know where to go. When I was little, I didn't realize like the situation we were in. At one point, we all three shared a room, but now we each have our own room, which is perfect. When we live in San Marcos, we live in this two bedroom apartment. So for six years, my parents were sleeping in the living room. They put a, like a blanket like on the floor and then they just slept there every night for like six years straight. If they were to move to the U.S. tomorrow, it would be very difficult because the education that they have at U.S. is not that cheap. Mainly the rent that they would have to pay every single month, it will be difficult. Thankfully, all of us are U.S. citizens, but it still will be difficult. When the pandemic started, I remember all schools like were going online and everything, but then once school starting opening again, the border was still closed. My mom, she was scared that they would just like close the border because of the pandemic and we would still be in school. So she wouldn't go back to Tijuana um, in order for like, if they closed the border, she would still be with us. But then they noticed that she was staying here in San Diego for the whole day. So that day that we got sent to secondary inspection, she, they told her that um, she couldn't be doing that. And then they accused her of working here. That was like the day I got really scared because I was like, what's happening? I didn't know like what was going to after, happen after that. And then they took my mom's visa away. That day was very really sad because now my mom doesn't have a visa and she couldn't see me graduate. I made a great. I couldn't see my little brother either. And um, just been a little hard for us because my mom would always be the one that was there for us at school. She would always be volunteering at our middle school, St. Rita's. I need to travel um, back and forth from Mexico to the United States. And it's a two hour trolley journey. So I need to be in the trolley and then go to Mesa and then grab a bus to go to school. So sometimes it's really tiring because if I wake up at five, I will be at school at 8.30. My main goals uh, for my career are to graduate and mainly to transfer to my dreams university. I would like to transfer to UCLA or Berkeley, maybe Stanford. I would like to have a degree in finance, so and be helpful.